North Carolina at Wake Forest. Wake Forest, a three-and-a-half-point favorite. Total sits at 78. Pointsy. Pointsy. 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time on ESPN2. Let's pull up the numbers, and I'll give you the trends. Trends on this one. Favorite is 5-2 and two against the spread of the last seven. The home team is 7-1 and one, uh, against the spread in the last eight. That all certainly points towards Wake Forest. North Carolina 4-0 and o against the spread after a spread loss in their last four in that position. Wake Forest 5-1 and one against the spread after a spread loss. Of course, that one was last week against North Carolina State, but regardless, uh, they are 1-4 and four against the spread at home against a team with a winning road record. North Carolina, no, the defense is not good. When you can you can see it on the on the screen here. Of course, I'll, I'll go on and go through these stats. I've got North Carolina favored by two and a half points here, uh, just based on the last five weeks of stats. But uh, but the defense is not good. Uh, PPA per rush, rushing success rate. I mean, number they're they're in the one seventeen one twenty seven mark on those. They don't allow explosive rush plays. Uh, but that I don't think that's going to hurt them very much because Wake Forest is only running the ball forty percent of the time, and they're not good at doing it. Number 101 in PPA per rush. Number 118 in rushing explosiveness. They're number 98 in stuff rate allowed. Uh, yeah, I don't think you're going to have to worry too much there. When you look at the other side of the ball with Sam Hartman throwing the ball, that's where it gets tricky, right? Um, number 36 in PPA per pass. Number 7 in passing success rate. And both of those big advantages over this North Carolina defense, which is number 80 in PPA per pass allowed and number 85 in passing success rate allowed. You look at what North Carolina is doing on offense over the last five weeks, and they are uh, just crazy, crazy good. Number 33 rushing success rate, not only number 86 in PPA per rush, but a lot of that's because they're scoring offensive touchdowns as far as passing the ball. Uh, Number 15 in PPA per pass, number two in passing success rate. Drake May, uh, this is going to be a fun quarterback duel to see who can actually outdo the other one. Uh, This Wake defense is average. Just average. And when you've got a really explosive offense uh, like North Carolina has uh, that can really just get whatever yards they want, they can drive on you whenever they want. I mean, North Carolina is getting seven scoring opportunities per game. That That's seven drives. That's what they average over the last five weeks. Seven drives inside the opponent 40-yard line. Uh, and they're number 16 in points per scoring opportunity. Yeah, I I think that they will be able to put up points here. Um Standard downs, PPA, et cetera. Like North Carolina's offense is going to have success against Wake Forest defense. And now you've got to pay attention to turnover rate, right? Because North Carolina is number 27 in giveaways per game. Wake Forest now all the way up to number 111 in giveaways per game. They don't generate a ton of turnovers. Uh, neither team really does. But when you look at this, like Wake Forest, I believe 11 turnovers in the last three games. Uh, maybe more. No, no, no. It's more than that. I know it's more than that. Um, because they had eight against Louisville, uh, and then they had three against uh, NC State. So, yeah, things are not going well in the turnover department, and I'm not sure what exactly is causing it, but it's, it's leading me to where I cannot bet on Wake Forest here. If I had to choose a certain way, which, again, if you want my official plays, you got to go over to the BetUS uh, College Football Channel. Uh, but if I had to choose a side here, I'm going to go with North Carolina. Um, as you saw, I mean, my numbers have North Carolina favored by 2.58 uh, just based on the last five weeks. Uh, overall on the season, my numbers have North Carolina favored by 1.87. And that's just, uh, you know, basic stats, raw stats. Uh, not opponent-adjusted whatever, just basic stats. And now that we've got a turnover issue uh, in Winston-Salem, yeah, I'm I'm certainly going to lean towards Drake May and what that bunch is doing right now. Uh, they win this one. I think they win the Coastal, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah, give me, give me North Carolina to cover our two... Uh, yeah, to cover three and a half here, uh, to get within three and a half, I think they win the game outright. So give me give me the Tar Heels on that. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app, and make sure to leave a nice five star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter at Gary WCE, and the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.